Friday, and that means we have a party on the plaza. And this is a very special group. These are members and supporters of Operation Blue Shield. It's a nonprofit. It's a supporting police organizations and working on bringing communities together with the police that help them. We're going to talk to them a little bit later about two big events they have coming up this month. In the meantime, they're having fun out on the plaza. They sure are. Glad to see them here this morning. And just a side note here, our Papa theme continuing coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. Papa's burger recipe right here on Daybreak. <laughs> and here's another look at our party on the plaza today. The good people from Operation Blue Shield are here, along with our friends from Chick-fil-A who are supporting them in two big events they have this month, including a walk for unity and change, promoting communities, joining up with police. We will talk to them coming up in this half hour. <laughs> It's always a party out here on a Friday, Ashton. We've got the Chick-fil-A crowd. Cow's here with us this morning. And a lot of wonderful men and women in blue. We're joined by the folks from Operation Blue Shield. Joining me now is founder Tony Pickens. And we want to start with you. We're going to get to uh, Jeff White with Chick-fil-A in a second. But talk to me about this uh, organization for those who don't know about Operation Blue Shield. Operation Blue Shield is a 501c3. We started that to promote unity within this uh, city this state and our country. It's hard right now with some people maybe not trusting police as much as they have in the past, but you are all about making that bridge between uh, police departments and community members and making it a positive experience. It seems like you've done well with that. We have done well. We all have to remember we're all in this together, and that's our main focus point. Our logo is we're all in together. So for people to have safe neighborhoods, they have to work with their law enforcement. And you'll find that all the men and women who stand behind me today and who also stand uh, up for this city all each and every day, they're here to serve us. Thank God they do this. But they want to make things right, and they want to make things really good in this country. So, again, we have to work together. And one of the things promoting that unity is the walk you have coming up. Let us know about that. That is uh, the day before Easter, so it's the 26th of March. The race starts around 8 o'clock in the morning. First runners are out at 8 then 8.30, and we've got Chick-fil-A cows, we've got food there, <laughs> we've got people that need to register, um, pay their fee, and come and celebrate with us, and it is all about unity. Good. We saw the information of the walk on your screen. We'll also have that at WFA.com. I want to get to Jeff White. Tell me about uh, Chick-fil-A's involvement in this organization and what it means to you all. Uh, well, I'll reach out to Tony. Her mission is perfect for, for Chick-fil-A. Um, Reconciling the city, uh, Jeff Warren from Park City's Baptist Church and Brian Carter with Concord, we're doing a church swap on Easter Sunday, and that's the way for us to come together as churches and bring, and bring in Dallas together, and we're going to do that with this race. A lot of great ways for community to get together, courtesy of Operation Blue Shield and your partners. Thank you all for being here. Keep enjoying the party on the plaza. Oh, we we'll check it. back in with you later this morning. We'll send it back to you, Ron. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Marie, and we appreciate them joining us here this morning as well. And DJ LC on the plaza for us this morning, getting us ready for Friday. The team from Operation Blue Shield is here to talk about events they have, bringing the community together with local police officers. Several opportunities for that this month. We'll talk to them in just a few minutes. <laughs> DJ LC has everybody riding the train out on the <laughs> plaza in Victory Park. For our party on the plaza, the good folks from Operation Blue Shield are here, and we'll talk to them before the, the top of the hour. There's one officer there not buying into it entirely. <laughs> Powerful story from Monica there, and joining me for more information to help you all out with car seats is Lonnie Haschel with the Department of Public Safety. Thank you for being here. I want to start off right away with um, what is the one mistake that people, parents, make the most when they're installing these car seats? They don't read the manual. If you don't remember anything else from this segment, RTDM, read the darn manual. Read the manual for your car, read the manual for your car car seat. In this case, that parent did everything that she could to make sure that her daughter was, was safe and then survived that crash. And it paid off, right. Uh, is there a wrong place in a back seat to put 
the car seat or is there any strategy in putting it in one seat over the other? It really depends on the vehicle. There are literally thousands of combinations of cars and car seats. We always encourage parents to get their car seat looked at by a certified safety seat technician so that they can help them work through those issues. Other kids dropping off, daycare, grandparents, those kind of things. And I would think that checkup with a professional is a short thing that pays off. Any big tips, other quick tips that parents can take away that you like to stress? Number one, make sure that the car seat itself fits the child, height and weight. Uh, make sure that the harness straps themselves are tight enough that you can't pinch the webbing. Make sure that the harness retainer clip is where it's a chest clip. It goes right at armpit level. And the tight harness of the harness straps on this one, you simply pull it down. Uh, make sure that the harness straps themselves are at the shoulders or below. And when the car seat's installed in the car, make sure it doesn't move more than one inch side to side, front to back. Great. All good tips. Thank you so much, Lenny Hashwell, DPS, with us. And again, read the darn manual if you take away anything from this. Ron, back to you. Hey, Marie, thank you very much. <laughs> Nick, and it is our party on the plaza here this morning, and we are highlighting and celebrating Operation Blue Shield. We are joined by founder of the organization, Tony Brinker, and Jeff White, who is an owner and operator of multiple Chick-fil-A's across North Texas. And this is an organization that really works to build community relations between police and the people who live in those communities. How are you inspired to get involved? Each, uh, each Chick-fil-A restaurant is locally owned and operated, and we strive to support our communities through schools and organizations such as Operation Blue Shield. So it made perfect sense for us to partner with Tony on Yeah, this. and even our own Sergeant Nick has said it's so important for police to be involved and engaged in the community and for there to be a, a real relationship there. There is, and it's just dialogue. It's two-way conversations, and it's coming together and say, hey, let's walk together all about yeah. unity. So, so, Tony, you have a big walk coming up, yes? We absolutely do. Uh, Saturday before Easter, 26th of March. And how can people get involved? You go to uh, cfaraceseries.com, register, and come out and walk or run with us. So walk with the cows. Uh, walk yes. with Jeff White, walk with your local police officer, first oh, responders. Great. It's a great way for America to show exactly what we're all about. You do not you do not have to be a runner to be involved. Let's talk about quickly, we only have 30 seconds, the pulpit swap on Easter Sunday. That's right. That's a, a great way for us to kind of bring North Dallas and South Dallas together. Pastors Jeff Warren from Park City Baptist Church and Brian Carter from Concord did this last year, doing it again this they year. They do a swap, they switch church. The next big reality show concert concept church swap thank you all for joining us we appreciate it and go to wfa.com for more information come on in guys as we say goodbye remember we're always on